which this one's kind of depressing, but it is the truth. So uh, articles state that more than one in three crypto investors know little to nothing about it, survey finds. Again, that's why I made this website so people can understand what the heck is going on. But I didn't know it was this bad until I read this article. So uh, this was from using survey data collected from 750 investors. So granted, a very small sample uh, of where they got this information from. But again, I know people who are watching this are like, how, did, how could they not know? I know everything about it because people aren't you. You are probably very well versed about what's going on in crypto, but not everybody is like you. And that's just how it is. Uh, this was data collected from 750 investors between February 5th and February 12th, a stretch during which the price of one Bitcoin went from 37 to 47,000. Uh, Cardify, that's who ran the uh, survey, finds that only 16.9% of investors who have bought crypto fully understand the value and the potential of cryptocurrency. Of course, it's the same thing with the internet. It's the same thing with online uh, retail. It's the same thing with every emerging um you know, new technology that's out there. Uh, so just look for what do you think's gonna be in the future and go for that. Uh, this is what it is. Anyhow, while 33.5% of buyers have either zero knowledge about this space or would call their level of understanding emerging. So what's going on? Why are they doing all this? The survey results suggest that many new investors have been spurred into action by a fear of missing out on gains. How crazy, FOMO. Anyhow, more than a third of survey respondents researched digital currencies for less than a month, which I'm surprised they did that before buying. And one in four cryptocurrency holders told Cardify that they were entering the space in the hopes of earning uh, short term financial gains. And so my question is this, well, why did they do it? You know, not just because of FOMO, but I mean, what, what spurred them on? Well, it wasn't just Bitcoin's meteoric rise. High profile endorsements also played a role. Of the 750 investors surveyed, just under 180 say that they have a more favorable view of Dogecoin and are more likely to put their money into it thanks to Tesla CEO Elon Musk's many tweets to his 48 million followers. So look, that's the state of the crypto current digital assets right now. If you are in crypto, first of all, you're early. And if you know what's going on, you're educated, which is even a rarity of uh, what we just saw in the survey. So this just goes back to the first. Um, data points that we took a look at for a glass node that uh, graph yeah there's people that are uh, hoarding it but again it's the only the people and that's really the smart money the smart money of the people that really understand exactly what bitcoin what cardano what ethereum what chain link what polka dot all those things actually do and can do and they're holding on to it for dear life like a raul Powell, like a michael Saylor, like a fill in the blank whatever you want to say like digital asset news like rob here and you, because we know what it is and we want to hold on to it. So just to be aware that these fluctuations in the market is because a lot of people are coming in. They have no idea what's going on, but it's really up to you to kind of educate them and me. And that's why I started this channel and danteachescrypto.com. So uh, just be aware that's what's going on, uh, but nothing changes. The uh, fundamentals are still the same. And uh, it's still, I think this is going to be one of those uh, firework years. All right, so that's it for today's video. So first of all, I wanna say thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That always helps the channel tremendously. And think about uh, subscribing because a lot of things we talk about are time sensitive. And then uh, I'll try to link uh, those two videos we talked about on the left and right of YouTube do its magic. And that is it for today. So thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.